gizmo, and I'm a pig. I want to tell you about a philosophical discussion I had the other day when I was on the train with my glamorous assistant. Boob. Boob, I said to him as we looked out of the window at the train on the other track. It looks like we're moving. Well, Boob had been getting very impatient and was very happy that we'd set off. But little did he know I was playing a cruel trick on him. Instead of our train setting off, the other train had started moving in the opposite direction, making it seem like we'd left. When he found out he'd been tricked, Boob was very grumpy and he wouldn't talk to me for the first hour of our journey. He just stared out the window at his reflection in the silvered walls of the long tunnel through which our train was passing. About an hour into our journey, he asked me when we were going to set off. He hadn't realised that we'd already left, and he was becoming increasingly glum about the state of the country's ailing transport system. When I told him that we'd already left, he was very suspicious. It's true that you couldn't tell by looking out, the, out at the monotonous tunnel walls, and he didn't want to fall for another of my cunning tricks, so he asked me for conclusive scientific proof that we were moving. I thought for a minute, and then I came up with this answer. Imagine the light bouncing off your beady little eyes, hitting the wall and then bouncing back again so that you can see your own reflection. Now we already established in an earlier video that light travels and the speed is at about 299,800,000 metres per second. So let's call that number C for brevity. So how long does it take before you see your own reflection? Well, if the wall's about a metre away, which it was, it would take 1 over C seconds for the light to get from you to the wall, and 1 over C seconds for the light to get back again, which is a total of 2 over C seconds, which is about no point, no, 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 6 seconds. Now, since we're really moving, the light has to travel a little way along the track to keep up with us so that it comes back to your eye when you've moved. So, it'll seem to take a bit longer before you see your own reflection. And we can say exactly how much longer by appealing to Pythagoras' theorem. So let's suppose that we're travelling at a speed v along the track. So, after some time, the light has reached the wall. And we've travelled VT along the track. Time T. And the light has travelled a distance CT metres. And that's a little bit longer than one metre because it's the hypotenuse of this triangle. So what we know is that 1 squared, which is 1, plus v squared t squared equals c squared t squared. Which you can rearrange and you find that the time it takes before your light is hitting the wall is t equals 1 over square root of c squared minus v squared seconds. And it takes twice that long before it comes back to you. So the overall time is 2 divided by square root of c squared minus v squared seconds. And that's a little bit longer than 2 over c. Of course the difference is too small to measure because our speed is so small with comparison to the speed of light. Nonetheless, Poob had brought his atomic clock with him on holiday and he decided to spend the rest of the journey repeating this experiment and he told me he kept getting the answer 2 over C. I told him to stop being ridiculous because either that meant we hadn't left yet 
All it meant his brand new atomic clock that I'd bought him for Christmas was running slow. And anyway, we were nearly at the destination, so could he give me a hand with the bag, please? He's been gibbering about it ever since. He doesn't think it's possible to do an experiment that will conclusively prove you're moving. And he hasn't left bed for three weeks because he's worried it'll make his clock run slow. What's that, Poob? You've just compared your clock with Eek's watch. And he's a little bit ahead of you. And he didn't come on holiday with us. Don't be ridiculous, Poob. You probably just dropped yours in the loo. Join us next time for an exposition of Smale's Alpha Theory. And we'll ask this expert where the stable homotopy theory is all it's cracked up to be. <laughs>